Can you imagine? I a 54, 51. I'm not even 54. You see me holding the hand of a nine year old, and if I tell you, oh, I'm taking her to my house because I'm gonna have sex with her. She's my wife. You okay with following this guy? Why didn't your friend tell you this about his filthy prophet? Now, can I show you where Muhammad treated women as prostitutes? Okay, imagine with me, you have a sis, an older, you have an older sister, and I say to her, hey, I'm gonna marry you for three days, and then I'm gonna divorce you, and I'm gonna pay you. What would you say about that? Okay, so what do we call that? What would that be called? I pay a woman for sex, and then I leave her. Oh, prostitution. Say it again. Prostitution. That's what Muhammad did. It's called zawaj al muta. You know what zawaj al muta means? Pleasure marriage. Where Muhammad told his friend, uh, companions, "Hey, go to those women. Tell them you'll marry them for a period of time, and then you're gonna pay them after you're done having sex and divorcing them." Nikah al muta, or zawaj al muta. Zawaj al muta, pleasure marriage. Here it is, narrated Abdullah. Watch. We used to participate in the holy wars. See, the Muslims went around murdering people and raping people. Holy wars carried down by the Prophet, and we had no women. We didn't bring women with us. With us. So he said to the Prophet, "Shall we cast her ourselves?" So they were getting too horny. What should we do? We're getting horny here. Should we cast her ourselves? Look what Muhammad said. But the Prophet forbade us to do that, and thenceforth he allowed us to marry a woman temporarily by giving her even a garment, and then recite, "O you who believe." Do not make unlawful the good things which Allah has made lawful for you. The truth about the real nature of Islam. Islam is not tolerant religion. Let's put the Quran on the side. Let's put the Islamic ideology on the side. Let's look at the life of Muhammad, the behavior of the Prophet of Islam. The rest of the Muslim world follow. Did he kill? Yes. Did he marry a nine-year-old child? Yes, he did. Did he kill the Jewish community of Khaybar? Because they did not give him the treasures to fund his military campaigns, and did he sleep with Safiya, the wife of Kinana, the leader of that community, the same night he killed her husband? Yes, he did. So where is the tolerance in that? Well, if this is your leader, where is tolerance in that? I understand the, that Muslims are tolerant people because I know my father, I know my family, and I know my people. But the real nature of Islam is evil. I know. About the life of Muhammad from the most trusted resources, and I can guarantee you that Muhammad did not tolerate, but he took revenge from anybody who opposed him. I want to see Middle Easterns protesting against the absolute control of religion, against Islam itself, and the only way to see this happening by telling people the truth, not Americans, not Westerners. I want to tell my people the truth of what Islam is, because they don't belong to that religion. They belong to God, the Most High One, who created them. Thank you.